WishyMonster.com and I am so happy that you guys are here with me today. I want to share with you my no-bake chocolate eclair cake. It couldn't be simpler, but you wouldn't even know it between the cake-like consistency of these layers that get soaked with fluffy homemade pastry cream and then the whole thing gets set off by this glossy, silky, melt-in-your-mouth chocolate ganache. So I do hope you guys enjoy my recipe and if you do like it, give it a big ol' like and let me know your thoughts and comments below. Since it needs to cool, the very first thing we want to work on is our pastry cream. So to some milk, I've just substituted dairy for some coconut milk. You want to combine your cornstarch, your sugar, your egg yolks, preferably at room temperature, a splash of pure vanilla extract, and then a little sprinkle of salt to offset the sweetness. Now we just have to give it a little thorough whisk and you have two options when it comes to cooking this. You can go low and slow over the stove top or you can do it the same way in the microwave. Just use whatever way is easiest for you. The cornstarch and the egg yolks really tighten things together and really bind it. So it'll really nicely thicken up and that's when you know it's done. So as always, you can find the ingredients listed below in the description box and a recipe to print or save on the squishymonster.com. In my 1.58 kilowatt microwave, which I used because it was just easier and faster. It took about two to three minutes. Just make sure the vessel you're using is adequately large enough so it doesn't bubble over. And intermittently, I just went in there and gave it a whisk. So it should be nice and smooth. I haven't strained this, but if you desire so, please, by all means, you can strain it through a fine mist strainer. And after two to three minutes, it yielded the consistency of pudding. So now all I wanna do is just cool it and set it aside. Still working with the pastry cream, this next part is optional, but I'm going to just fold in some whipped cream, some homemade whipped cream, and this will really lend a nice fluffy body to the pastry cream and really just give it a nice kind of mouth feel. Now it's just a matter of layering graham crackers with your fluffy pastry cream, kind of like a sweet lasagna, if you will. In my 8x8 pan, I have enough to do about three layers. We're going to crown the top of this no bake eclair cake with a simple chocolate ganache. So to some chocolate bits here, I'm going to add just a sprinkle of instant espresso, totally optional, just enhances that chocolate flavor. And then a little sprinkle of some fine salt and some cream. And then I'm just going to microwave this low and slow. The trick to melting chocolate in the microwave is going low and slow in short bursts and then stirring and allowing the residual heat to melt the remainder of your chocolate. And now you just want to spread it on top. So here is our no-bake eclair cake. Very simple and so yummy, but the hardest part is coming up where you need to let it chill and set. It's ideal to do this overnight, but you could get away with a few hours, though it will be wobbly. It does taste better the, the longer it sets. It's one of those desserts that you can kind of set and forget, and it just tastes better as the flavors mingle and the chocolate ganache topping sets up and gets really nice and silky and melts in your mouth. The crackers will really soften with the pastry cream, so it's totally up to you. 